day, everybody. Welcome to Cooking with the Riz. Uh, today's recipe is very, very simple. It's so simple, you can do it with your eyes closed, just about. <laughs> um, I'm doing a summer pudding, and a summer pudding is a cold dessert, not a hot one like you do when you steam. So this is um, uh, it's summertime here now in Australia, so uh, hence why I'm doing this one. So and what I've got, I've got some strawberries, I've actually got some cherries here that I've taken the pips out of. Now, if you don't um, have cherries available, don't worry about it. I've just put them in because I had them in the fridge. So simple as that. But if you can get your hands on them, put some in. It's good. Uh, I've got some beautiful raspberries, blueberries, and I've got some blackberries here. Okay, so it's quite simple. Now what I've got over here, I've put a cup of um, sugar in this, pot, in this pan with uh, about a quarter of a cup of water. So I'm just heating that up. Now what you want to do, now this is important, okay? So the harder fruit, put that in first, and then the softer fruit goes in, like the raspberries, we'll put them at the very, very end. But these two are a bit more hardy, and they won't break down as much. Uh, I'll put them in after these have been cooking for a couple of minutes. So I'll throw these in now. There's one. Oh. So that's a couple of punnets of, um, of uh, strawberries in there, two punnets. So I've got my bread here, I've started slicing. So I've, I've, I've sliced it this thick, like that. So it's about probably a centimetre and a half. So when you buy your bread, if you're gonna make this, try and get the bread a couple of days before you do it. That's what I should have done, but I didn't, because it's a bit hard to cut when it's, when it's really fresh like this. Um, and buy it in a block form like this, okay? Just buy it without being sliced because when they slice it, it's too thin for this, for this dish, okay? So we just slice it all ourselves. Just, just do it carefully if you, if, you, if you feel a bit scared or whatever because it can be a little bit daunting trying to cut this, especially when you get to the end like this one. So what I'll do with the end, I'll just keep it flat like that so you don't cut your hand and take the crust off just like that see so there's the crust give that to the birds and there you go like that okay that's it for that bit so what you want to do with this is the bottom of here is let's have a look you want to put a round piece at the bottom so just get your your uh, bowl, put it on top of the bread. It's basically, actually, it's basically cutting the corners off like so. So, and you don't want the crust either. So get rid of the crust. Make sure I'll get rid of all the crust first. Like that. And just cut the corners off a little bit. Kind of like, make it round. Into a rounded kind of shape. And then that one can sit in the bottom like that. Oh, perfect, look at that, beautiful. So what you want to do, you just want to cut the crusts off these. So you can do it one at a time if you like, or just do it two at a time, whatever you feel like doing. All this, I'll throw this outside for the birds. I have a family of magpies that come here and uh, they bring the kids and everything and they get into it. So it's so fresh, it's so hard to cut. That's all right. So you've got two there, okay? Just like that. Oh, there's a bit left here. And, what, and don't forget your strawberries over here. So give them a little stir. Just like so. Okay, they're all sliced, ready to go. So now I'm going to throw in my um, blackberries. One. Gorgeous, plump blackberries, beautiful. And the blueberries. All right, so all the berries are in there cooking away nicely. Um, just let them go for about three minutes or so on a very low heat, not a very low heat, just a medium heat actually. The cherries have broken down nicely. The um, strawberries have as well. So, and then we'll strain them into here. All right, and then we will just let it cool down and that'll be nearly ready to go. 
So I've got a bit of vanilla here to go into the mix as well, and I need a bit of cinnamon. I'll just a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. Cinnamon and berries go quite nice. Actually, you might just make that a teaspoon and a half, I think. And I'll put uh, a couple of teaspoons of vanilla bean paste in there as well. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Look. How do you like that, eh? Beautiful. And the smell. Well, smells divine. All right. And the raspberries. So the raspberries, you just want to throw them in without the, without the flame on. So they'll, the residual heat will just heat these through, okay? That's all you want with the raspberries because they're so tender and so beautiful. You, just, you can just eat the whole thing like that. Ah, okay. So I'm going to stir those through like this. That residual heat will just be enough to... Um, to do what it's got to do to the raspberries. So I'll just leave that in there for a minute or so, and then I'll strain it into this bowl. Aren't berries just beautiful? Oh, could eat them every day of the week. And then what I'll do, I'll strain these, and then I might put, I might put these into a tray, possibly, just so they cool down a bit quicker. So just tap it like that, that helps all the juice go through. All right, so I'll just spread that out in here so it cools down a lot quicker. And also there'll be, there will be some juice on here. So you don't want to lose that. See, they're very uh, delicate. This is very, very delicate. See, they're going a bit squishy, see? Doesn't take much for these to do that. All right, so we'll just let this cool down, guys. And then uh, I'll come back when it's ready to rock and uh, I'll show you when I put it together. Okay guys, I'm back. All right, all the berries here, they're not quite, um, they're not cold, but they're cool enough now to use. Okay, got my line bowl, my bread here. Remember the round pit that, um, that you want on the bottom first. And then we have the, um, the juice here, which is so damn bloody yummy. You can nearly drink this. So what you want to do, you don't want to dip the whole thing in, you just want to dip one side only, okay? So we'll just do that, one side, that goes on the bottom. All right, and then keep on going with the, with the other bits as well, just one side, and stick him on. Now when you put him on, when you put these in, overlap them a little bit, okay? So just do that and just overlap, like so. All right, come in, baby. Okay, so we're just overlapping, all right? And then, because um, the bottom of the bread, um, you want the bread to be above, above the bowl a little bit, because when you fold this plastic over and you put a plate on, it's gonna squish down. Right, it's gonna press it all down for you. So try and just bring it up a little bit, if you can. Now what I've done, I've got the, the square pieces of bread on top of the, um, the round bit at the bottom. And then I've just cut um, pieces of bread in half and dipped them and I'm going around the edges now, around the top. And what I'm gonna do also with the leftover juice there is I'm going to reduce it down so it becomes nice and sticky kind of consistency. And um, I'm going to use that for the presentation at the end. So that's probably about it, guys, like that. See that? So now all you've got to do now is spoon your mix in. All of these beautiful berries. Just fill it up. Just do it gently. Don't have to be too rough with it or anything. Just nice and gentle. By the time um, it's all set in the fridge, so I'm going to do this overnight. You can do, you can set this for six hours. So if you want to do it in the morning and you want to serve it at night, if you're having a, a, a party or, or whatever, you're having a bit of a, a dinner party, then what you can do, you can just make it in the morning, let it set for six hours, and Bob's your uncle. That's it. Done. You'll be right to go. But I'm doing this, I'm going to set this overnight. Um, 
And yeah, and then I'll show you in the morning when it's all done. And there we go, guys. That's your lid. So don't do what I did and forget to cut your tops. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a doofus, eh? Okay, so then we just flap that over the top like so. And this one, like that. And then this side as well, just like so. All right, and then we just get a plate that goes on top like this, and just a bit of a weight as well. And that's basically all you need to do, guys. Um, so just let that do its thing in the fridge for the next uh, over, or overnight, or six hours, like I said. Um, yeah, and then that'll all be beautiful and coated in the gorgeous juices there of all the berries and cherries. Uh, yeah, all right, and I'll show you the end result when I flip it out. Until then, put your feet up, go make a cup of tea. I'll see you then. Hello everybody, I'm back with the end result of this beautiful pudding, summer pudding. So I'll just take, removed off the lid and look at this. Gorgeous little thing here. I like I'm packing a present at Christmas time. Just put the plate on top like so and upend it like that. Hopefully, oh yeah, look, it's coming straight out. Look at that. Beautiful, straight off, ah, amazing. You know, I haven't made this dessert, well, I reckon about 30 years since the last time I did this. Look at that, doesn't it look gorgeous? And then what you do is, you can just pour some more of this beautiful, gorgeous looking leftover juice from those gorgeous berries that we had and just pour it all over like that. Look at that. Oh, oh yummy, 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 yum. Woohoo. Okay, so for plating up, got my little dish here. So I'll give it a bit of a cut. See what goes on, eh? You can do a little one like that, or you can do a bigger one. Okay, so just, I might do a bigger one actually. Put that one back for presentation purposes, I'll do a bigger one. And then I'll use this to lift it off. So for presentation, I wanna just put a bit of sauce on the bottom of the plate. Just move it all around like so. Okay. Don't be too shy with it. And then I will grab this beautiful piece here and I'll put him straight on top like that. Woo, that looks good, good, good. I've got a couple of strawberries here. And I'll just, you can actually um, reserve a few of the, of the other berries, the raspberries and the blueberries and that, and blackberries, and you can just mix them in with this. But I'm just going to put it like so, just like that. It's all for, all for um, you know, presentation. Now, if you, if you want to serve this as it is in the middle of the table, what you would do is just do what I did with the sauce, put it all over around the, around the bottom of the plate, put that on top, and then um, just get uh, your cream and just put your cream on top of this here and then put your berries on top of that. And that's your presentation in the middle of the table and everyone can just help themselves. Okay, so my little straws are like that. And nice dollop of cream on the side like so. And then, time for the taste test. Isn't that quite nice? Beautiful. Let's get a go at that, eh? So I'll just take a bit out of here. Yum, yum, ooh yeah, look at that bread. A little bit of a strawberry. Put that on top, a little bit of cream on top of that, little guy. And let's have a little taste test. Mmm. <laughs> that is ripper. All right, guys, well, until the next one, you guys out there, hit that like button, 
if you want to subscribe to my channel, be my guest, and uh, make sure you hit the little bell next to it so you can re um, receive all my content. And uh, until I see you at the next one, guys, take it easy and happy cooking to everyone.